tutorial so in today's tutorial we're going to be doing a very fun loving project and that is an empowerment key ring this is really fun and is a great um, product for sale as a side hassle i hope you enjoy it so there are not many things you're going to need for this project you're going to need your pliers so for me i have my two flat nose pliers you're going to also need some tassel this came ready made and you're going to be needing some hardware for the key ring i have my key ring itself here with a chain attached to it i may need a couple of jump rings which i have here and i'm going to bring them in um, as we assemble it so this is basically assembling your key ring just the way you want it all right now all of these here were gotten from amazon if you would like to know where to get them it came as a pack like that and you would have different empowerment messages for key rings so i've gone ahead to select exactly what i want to use it for this also came as a pack for my key rings it came as a pack so you can buy them all as a pack two different key rings for empowerment and sell them as such so i'm going to do with you in today's video how to assemble your own key rings package them beautifully and sell them off as a gift as a present or even for a side hustle as a side business for yourself okay so i decided to match my hardware empowerment hardware with this i could just use only this or use it together with something else or with another thing i've done with a bead but on this occasion i just want to use it in this manner so what i'm going to do here now is to first of all hook my biggest hardware onto my jump ring like that and i'm going to try and bring this onto it in the front okay and then i'm going to get my jam ring uh, my key ring onto it as well now the last thing i want to add is to add a tassel but i don't know if a tassel will be too much for everything going on or probably just put a tassel on the side so i'm just going to leave it like this for now okay and then i'm going to close my jam ring up so what you do is you twist your jam ring back in place you twist it back in place as the right thing to do so we have that but i want to add something else to it so i want to decide if i'm going to put the tassel here or put it here as an addition or somewhere here so let's see where it would fit beautifully and then we can add a tassel there i think the tassel will do well hanging on this key ring as well so i'm going to bring my next jam ring over here get my tassel hooked onto it and then here as well great so here we go this is a very simple beautiful project if you ask me and i would definitely buy this if i see it in a shop it's very simple unique and nice and i think i like it this way so i'm going to go ahead and package my key ring to give it a beautiful effect okay And this alone is a beautiful piece to sell now this is perfect as a gift item even for this Christmas as it's coming up 
you can do this as a gift for anybody for a loved one a friend a girlfriend a mom a dad it has beautiful inscriptions on it and for this one it says that uh, love dream hope trust those are the words going around it and then in the center i see that every journey starts with one step and i think those words are really really encouraging now let's go ahead and do some packaging for this um, empowerment key ring i think i've done this swell box as a project before but i'm going to do it again in this video so i've already developed the stencil for this i'm not going to do it again in this video i'm going to direct you to the video that you can watch the step-by-step -step method of generating your stencil for the swell box okay so i'm going to put my stencil on the side and i'm going to grab my cardboard just going to flip it and get the appropriate the appropriate board i need i need something with red in it because of my so obviously i've used a few of i think i would like to go for this one here this is my pick but let me see what i can get mm. okay so this is my pick i'm going to go ahead and rip it out and then we take it from there so i'm going to flip it over on the side Bring my stencil here try and find the center of the stencil um, because that is very very important you can solid tape it down but i'm just going to use my finger to press it and draw around it and we take it from there okay so the next thing i'll do is i'm going to flip it over but i make sure that i match these corners okay so let's take notes of these corners what i mean is i'm just going to match it like that okay it's gone off a little bit here so i've not centered this one very well but i'm going to still go ahead and draw it out okay so now that we have the shape cut out cut out my outer lines this is what i'm cutting and i'm leaving the square bit out okay i'm going to grab my scissors and start cutting So now the next thing to do is to crack i usually call them crack the vine of these lines okay so what i do that makes it very easy for me is just to fold this side of my box along the line of the ruler or along the length of my ruler Okay, so I'm going to clean out these lines, All right? Else you, would, you don't want it showing in the. Okay, at the bottom of my thing, I'm just going to be sticking out a handmade tag, just to make it a bit professional and nice. Okay. Just get some of these shredded tissues and drop it in here for packaging effects. Basically, it's just for packaging effect. I grab my key ring, I put it here. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and. Twist it in 
face. Make sure that everything is in there. So this is what gives it the name as a swell box. And it looks really, really, really good for presentation. I'm not done with that. I'm going to just grab some of my card, probably cut like a square or circle. Maybe do a square. And do a handwritten message on it. Okay. Now I'll get this. Probably just stick that on top of it as well. So see if I can bring this one back out. Right. I'm gonna bring and stick it back in there. I'll grab some cute. Let's do this again. And I think this is a beautiful enough package to be giving out. I totally, totally love this. So we've come to the end of today's project. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not done that already. Please try and subscribe and become a member of this channel until we meet again have a brilliant day and enjoy crafting bye